we're really, really close. We've been really close since like kindergarten. Working as a team is, it gives you much more courage than if you're just working as an individual. If you're alone, it's always scary. I have these two friends, Mari McBride and Lily Georgopoulos, and I've known them since I was before preschool. I think what binds us together is our passion for what's going on around us. We're all doers. So when we were little, when we were first hearing about climate change, it was on the news, it was in the papers, our parents were talking about it. I just felt despair. It was worse than concern. It was just sadness. I didn't think there was anything anyone could do. We got older and we realized that the grown-ups weren't doing anything about it. We kind of lost our faith in adults. If they care about us, they should care about our future too. No one is going to protect our future for us. And so we were on our own. I think the fight against climate change is kind of like the fight of Harry Potter and the Death Eaters. Harry Potter was born into this problem, just like we were born into this problem. We saw that Harry Potter was brave. Even though he was a kid, he made a difference. We kind of saw him as a role model. When I was watching the Young Voices for the Planet films, I'd never seen kids in action before, and it was really, really amazing. And I realized that there was nothing different between me and the kids on those screens, and I could be doing what they were doing. We thought, can we do something like this? Is it possible? So I got really excited and I got on a notepad and I started writing. I didn't know what I was going to do, but I was going to do something. All of a sudden this idea just popped into my head. Save tomorrow, that would be the group name. Here in Lexington, the town laws didn't allow solarization of our town buildings. We learned that there was a chance for all three of us to come and talk about climate change at the town meeting. Lily and Mari and I wrote some statements to try and get them to allow solar panels to go on public buildings. At first we were a little bit scared. These are a bunch of grown-ups. They run the world. To stop climate change, everyone has to pitch in and help. That means all of us right here in Lexington. We decided to quote Dr. Seuss using a quote from the Lorax. We said it together. And remember, as Dr. Seuss said, unless someone like you cares a whole awful lot, nothing's going to get better. It's not. Thank you. Thank you very much, ladies. And then the whole town meeting just stands up and starts clapping. Even the moderator was clapping. All those in favor will signify by saying aye. Aye. All opposed? It kind of hit us. We had helped this article passed unanimously. It is unanimous, the motion carries. We literally just skipped out of the town hall. We had helped to get solar panels on all the town buildings. We weren't just helpless little girls. We have more power than we'd ever imagined in our wildest dreams. After that, it was like, well, we did that, what can we do now? We found out that they were planning to tear down part of our forest right next to Alice's house. It's so quiet and peaceful out there. All you can hear is like birds and, and wind. It and makes you feel really and free. It's and just like a, a whole separate world. We have forts back there. We have owls back there that we know. We know where all the animals live. We love those forests. <laughs> and it was devastating to think that they could tear, just tear down all those trees without even thinking about it. We immediately knew that we weren't gonna let this happen. We made a petition to save our woods. To whom it may concern, we are the kids of Lexington, and we have too many amazing memories of Mountain Road without anyone disturbing the beautiful forest there. And then we went around to the whole cafeteria asking people, do you want to sign this? Then we turned it in. 
and I think that they were really just overwhelmed. A bunch of school children all fighting for this little lot of woods behind their houses. This is like where they play. And I'm pretty sure they hadn't even realized that. One of the reasons why people listen to kids is because we're trying to do what's right. Whereas some adults, they're doing it for the money. But they realized how much this plot of land meant to all of us. And I think that really helped them make their decision. They kept the woods there and the woods are still there today. We saved the woods from around there to beyond my house over there. Yeah. It's so more like a land. corridor in between two big woods. Yeah. A so passageway little... for the animals. We realized, wait, we have a new school. We can put solar panels on our new school, reducing CO2 emissions and really doing something about climate change. Our whole school will be helping save the world. Alice has been really fortunate to have found two friends that she's had really for her whole life who share her passion and her interest and want to act on it with her. We need to go out there and take a risk to make a difference. We're taking it into our hands now. Seeing that we do have power and that we can make a change in the world, it's really inspiring, it really changes you. And I think it's just gonna grow from here. So find your team, find your passion, find your power. We could power our whole town on clean solar energy.